All right, so for this problem, we're trying to find the diameter of the pin at point C, which is this pin right here. And so um, as you can see, we have two little links here kind of holding it in place. And so when we have two uh, links in, um, holding a pin in place like this, that is a case of double shear. And so when we have double shear, we know that the average stress is equal to P over 2A since there are two links. So what we want to go ahead and do, um, first of all, is try to find the force that's going through this pin right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a free body diagram. And I'm going to make my positive X going to the right, my positive Y going up. And then I'm going to do a rough sketch of this little pedal here. And so I'm going to go ahead and split the force at C into CX and CY components. So CX, it's a little small, but you can read it okay, CY. And then I'm going to have a force from this rope here. I'm just going to call it FAB. And then I have a force P pushing down at point D. And they tell us that P is equal to 950 newtons. And so what we need to do, first of all, is we need to go ahead and uh, take a moment about point C so that we can get this force AB. So I'm going to do the sum of moments at point C is equal to 0. We have all our distances on the picture up here. And so I'm going to go ahead and change them all to meters just to keep everything in newtons and meters, keep it simple. So um, we're going to go ahead and start with the force P, which creates a negative moment about point C. So we're going to have a negative. Our distance is 0 0.3 meters, and the force is 950 newtons. And then we have the force AB, which also creates a negative moment. So minus and the distance is 0 0.125 meters. The force is FAB. And then solving for FAB, we're going to get the FAB is equal to negative 2280 newtons. So we're going to use that later. And then in order to find the force um, going through point C, we're going to need to find the x and y component, and we can do that by taking the sum of forces in the x direction and the sum of forces in the y direction. So we're going to do sum of forces in the x direction first, set that equal to zero, and then we're going to get um, we're going to have FAB, which is negative 2280, and then we're going to have plus CX, and so we're going to get that CX is equal to 2280 newtons. Then we're going to do sum of forces in the y, set that equal to 0. And we're going to get negative 950 plus cy. cy is equal to 950 newtons. And so we need to find just a single force going through the point C, the pin there. And so we have the x component, the y component, and we can go ahead and square, take a square root of um, each of the components squared and get the point C, the... Um, magnitude of that um, force going through point C. So we're going to get C is equal to, I'm just going to go ahead and write the formula CX squared plus CY squared, which is equal to 950 squared, that's CY, plus 2280, that's CX. Order doesn't matter, and we're going to get that C is equal to 2470 newtons. And so let me scroll down a little. So this right here is our total force through the pin. So we have the force going through the pin, and we know that, um, that uh, we're trying to find the diameter of the pin, excuse me. So we know that the formula for area is going to be, the area of the uh, cross-section of the pin is going to be pi over 4 d squared with d being the diameter of the pin which is what we're looking for 
and we have the double shear formula for um, when we have double shear, the average stress formula, which is P over 2A. And they actually give us the average shearing stress up here, which is 40 megapascals. So you can set this equal to, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite. So we have 40, set that equal to the force P, excuse me, the force um, through the pin at point C, which is going to be 2470 newtons, and then 2, and then the formula for the area, pi over 4d squared. And it's just a lot of math, but solving for d, we get that d is equal to 6.27 millimeters. And that's going to be our answer for this problem.